Hello, I'm Chef Joe. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make tiramisu. We're going to need, for the coffee mixture, one and a half cups of Italian coffee or espresso. I use my Bialotti pot, uh, make my little mocha pot right there. And I use this uh, Illy espresso inside that. Uh, you can use regular coffee if you want, it, it's fine, it's nice cold. I ha then I need uh, a half a cup of, Mars uh, I use Frangelico, this is my secret right here. I use Frangelico. Typically, they put Marsala wine in their uh, tiramisu. I use Frangelico. It'll up your game on that, okay? Then you need, for the filling, 16 ounces or one pound of mascarpone, a quarter cup of Frangelico, that's going in there again, six egg yolks, which I have here. I have two-thirds cup of uh, granulated sugar, two cups of heavy whipping cream, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then I have a little bit of uh, cocoa powder for dusting at the end. Also, I have lady fingers. People say, what do we use those lady fingers for? What are those for? Well, they're for this. So anyways, without further ado, let's uh, start cooking up these egg yolks. So we're gonna start off with the egg yolks and we wanna put the sugar into the egg yolks and we're gonna whisk it. We're gonna actually cook it on this double boiler over here. So I'm gonna whisk this up, get the sugar incorporated into it. Then I'm gonna come over here and start doing the eggs. So we're gonna put the eggs on the double boiler and we're gonna whisk it around. We're gonna kinda sort of cook these eggs a little bit. You have to be careful that you don't scramble them. What you're making is kinda like when you make a, a hollandaise sauce. They call this a zabayon. So we're gonna cook it. Just starting to starting to cook. Now you don't want to get it too hot, so you can keep taking it on and off the boiling water. Put it back on. Now you'll you'll start to see the egg yolk turn like a pale yellow. A little bit frothy, that's kind of what you're looking for. As I said, don't get it too hot, otherwise you'll scramble your eggs. We're not making breakfast, we're making dessert. Let me check and see how... Oh yeah, it's getting hot. Very hot. I think that's pretty good. Right like that. Okay, we're going to cool them off now. Turn off your hot water. And I'm going to set this aside. Now what I want to do, while the uh, zabayon is uh, uh, cooling off, I'm going to take my coffee, pour my coffee in this dish, along with my half a cup of Frangelico. Let's put that there. A little bit more. That's good. This is what we're going to dip our lady fingers in. Now we're going to put the mascarpone into this mixing bowl, along with the quarter cup of Frangelico. Then we're going to take it over to the mixer and we're going to mix it together. Now that the mascarpone is in the mixer, we're going to go like this and I'm going to mix it on slow. You want to be careful because the mascarpone will separate if you if you mix it too fast or if, it, if the mascarpone is old, outdated. You just want to I just want to get these combined. You can also scrape the bowl. 
Make sure you scrape down. And get some of this off of here. Get it out. And continue. Okay, so that's in there. Now we're going to whip our whipping cream. Now we're going to add the cold cream into this stainless steel bowl along with the vanilla. Then I'm going to take my, my little beater here and I'm going to get some uh, soft peaks out of this. Oh, that's looking pretty good. You don't want to over whip it because then your, your whipped cream will become uh, gritty. Now I changed the uh, attachment to the paddle attachment on my mixer because I want to gently fold in the egg mixture. So we're gonna put this, oh, that looks really nice. Eggs and sugar. Get my and let's just fold this in on low, low speed. You can even pulse it a little bit. Lift it up. Make sure it doesn't separate on me. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take this out. Scrape it down, make sure we don't have any large chunks of mascarpone in there. Which is it's looking really nice. Now I'm going to gently fold in my cream. So I got this, actually, yeah, it's fine. Fold in my cream. I know it looks like it's a little bit runny or loose, but it's going to set up after it refrigerates. This has to refrigerate overnight. So after we put it all together with the lady fingers, we're going to wrap it and then uh, we'll be ready to go for tomorrow. Let's fold them in. So you don't see the yellow anymore. All the egg, the mascarpone, and the cream are incorporated. That's what you're looking for right there. Okay. Now I think we're ready to dip our lady fingers. Now the, the trick to this is you don't want to soak them too much. You just want to dip, and then flip, and then put them right into the into the bowl. So you're going to go here, here, into the bowl. I do the top first. Top, bottom, into the pan.
You're going to layer the bottom of this dish. And the reason why you only want to dip them is otherwise the, the, they'll become too waterlogged or too, you know, too soggy. You don't want your lady fingers to get soggy in there. I'm going to put one this way towards the end. This way, then I, I got a broken one in half here that I can put like this. And it fits in perfect. Now, I'm going to Put a layer of mascarpone cream on top. So we'll just kind of layer it in there. You put half of it. And I'm going to spread it around with the offset spatula. These little off offset spatulas work fantastic. Make it nice and even. Okay. Now we're ready for the other layer of lady fingers. Same procedure. Dip the top. Dip the bottom. I put them the other way now. Go in opposite direction of your first layer. I might be able to fit one more. Perfect, right there. Now we'll go the other way. We'll go back this way. That's all going to be good. Break one in half. Sit in there. And one more, maybe. Yeah, just stick it in there. Like that. That's going to be fine. We'll just set the rest of these aside. There you go. Now we're going to put the other layer on top. Okay, spread it out a little bit. I'll use the offset spatula in just a second. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. All right, I'll just take a little towel and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to wrap this with plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator. We're, tomorrow we're going to finish it off. We're going to dust it with powder and serve it. Hi, right, welcome back. We've, uh, we've refrigerated our tiramisu overnight, so it looks like it's nicely set up. The next thing we're going to do is take some of this cocoa powder and we're going to just pat the top of this, decorate it with the cocoa powder on top. Give it a nice dusting.
There we go. That's looking good. Now, what you can do is, you get all this cocoa powder around the edge, just kind of wipe it off with a damp cloth. And just like that. Otherwise, you're going to get cocoa powder all over everything. Now, we're going to cut a slice and plate it. Let's see how it goes. I think that's going to be good. Now first, we're going to add a little berry coolie to it. Make your plate look nice. Give it a little something special. Let's see how this came out. Oh, I set up nice. Now you can also take a piece of chocolate, really good quality chocolate, and just kind of do this all over the plate. Little extra chocolate on there. And there you have it, tiramisu. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to click the subscribe button and visit my website at www.chefjoeskitchen.org for more videos and recipes. Remember, food tastes best when it's simple and fresh. Let's taste this. For, forgot to taste it. Look at this. Oh my God. Frangelico. Don't forget the Frangelico. See you later.